Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Christina of Side Street Market and we are continuing on the journey of the hauls from my birthday getaway. And we have this box here that we're gonna go ahead and dig through. And this is from the Antique Galleries of St. Petersburg. So let's see what goodies I got. There will be paper noise, so just be prepared. And here we go. I remember this guy. So this was a cute little teddy bear planter and he was supposed to be on sale. I think he was towards the back. Um, let's see. This planter was $12. It was supposed to be on sale, but it looks like um, the sale price was not given, but that's okay. It was still $12. I think that they had like 15% off in their booth. So we got the cute little bear planter. We're going to put him behind us so we have plenty of room for all the goodies coming. And then this one is two pieces. So I'm wondering if that means there's two pieces in here to be careful. Oh yes. So these were some hobnail these uh, candle holders I got, opalescent hobnail. And those I'm probably not gonna be able to tell you the price on because, let's see. Toothpick, blue. They might have been $9.99. Cause there's a whole bunch of hobnail on here. Oh, pair of candle holders were on sale for $11.90. So these guys were on sale, so I grabbed those. I got a lot of glass on this trip, so I'm gonna have some a couple of good whatnot sales coming up for you this summer full of glass. And then I picked up this little guy, which was, I have no idea. <laughs> A $9.99. There's an F pur purple on here. So I'm going to assume that this was the $9.99, like a little purple Fenton piece. And I think we're just going to roll and just look at the glass now because, so my total spend for five boxes from this antique mall was $1,200. And I got 80, about 80 items for inventory. Then I also have this little toothpick holder. And that one I thought was really unique because it was purple hobnail. And that I think was $7.99. So that one I had never seen the purple before. So I thought that would be really cool. Kind of looking for some unique colors. You know, this is a, oh yeah. I got some glowy. I got some glowy. I wonder how much I paid for these. I know everything I was grabbing was pretty much about $10 or less. So let's see if they have another pair of candle holders. Toothpick. $11.90 for green candlestick holders, yeah. And, oh, they don't glow? What? What? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Well, that's a jib because it's, oh, there we go. It's down in there. There we go. It's it's just a little bit. Maybe it's my, it must be the lighting or my, um, oh, there we go. Yeah, they do glow. Okay. I was like, I thought those were uranium. They just don't have a lot of uranium. And they are two a little bit different shades. So that's a little, that's a little, yeah. And this one has a crack in it, I didn't see. Can't feel it, that's weird. That's like a manufacturing thing, okay. Yeah. We're gonna keep going, because we've got lots of goodies in this box. 
and I hope the lighting's okay for you guys because it is a crazy stormy day here in Florida today. As I'm trying to film this with like five lights on. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and pretty much everything I paid was like under, you know, 10 to $12. Now these were each $8 each, but I was okay with that. They are two different coasters because they glow. See, look how much that one glows compared to. And some of these are going for a lot online. So all the uranium coasters I purchased that some people are using as salt sellers will be going, I think, to my eBay. Because I got a set of, I think, six, and I did pay up for those. I, um, I think I paid like 20, and so here are the ones that are the set. So those were the two singles, and like, see, this one was probably an odd one. And people will put these under their sofas and stuff. I know I have two more in here somewhere. That's not it. Okay, so this is just a little toothpick holder I picked up. A little black toothpick holder, but see those glow. And these are the Anchor Hawking ones. They're ma they're marked Anchor Hawking. And they were going for like $40 on eBay. And I got them for half that price at the mall. Booyah. We got this beauty too. Let's see if you glow. I do not think there's any cadmium in this one, but I just love that kind of reddish color. It's a nice little folded dish. Mm -hmm. And it goes fine. Just kidding. What do we got? What do we got? They were so... Oh, and then I picked up a black flower frog because I love the flower frogs and this is just a cool black glass one. Needs a little clean up. Maybe this is the rest of the coasters. Yep, these are the rest of the coasters. So see, those glow nicely. That one has more wear to them. But these are all, and that one has a giant chunk out of the side, which I did not see. But yeah, those are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And they glow. We got a little ruffle glass uh, opalescent silver crest going on. I think I paid less than 10 for that one because they're about, you know, a 12 to 15. And then I got a little Amberina pitcher. Look at that. A little hobnail Amberina. I wonder if I can find that one on here. I love a glow. I love a glow. That's pretty cool. I've not seen that one before. And I like having some littles, you know. Okay, so this is the Westmoreland basket that is hand painted and marked. But it's got an R on the bottom with a basket. So, yeah, $10 for a Westmoreland basket. I love this shade of blue. I don't have this shade of blue in my shop. And actually, the way this is put together up here makes me just a little nervous, but cute, cute, cute. Let's see. I have a June sale. You guys will be seeing these videos in July, so they'll probably be in the July and August. Then I picked up just a simple kind of opalescent hobnail vase. This I like these to mix in with other colors. It is for resale. Now the rest I'm probably gonna leave on the table because I'm running out of room behind me. And then I picked up this because we love our Amberina. I love an Amberina. And I tried to get a bunch of littles too because usually I can find like big glass pieces. But when you're doing the whatnot sales, it's nice to start out with some smaller pieces for people. Ooh, a little Ellie Smith footed black glass. And I don't know if this is... I'm going to have to take it outside to see if this is black or black amethyst. But that's a nice little, like with Halloween, a little cauldron bowl. I 
thought that was cute. And I only know that's Ellie Smith because I find that pattern a lot around here. And then I got this cute, this reminds me of like a mermaid tail. I thought that was very nice and like nautical looking. It looks like a starfish on the bottom. So that's a nice little Fenton milk glass hobnail vase. And I think I did get some Viking in here. Yep, this is the Viking. And now I have the Viking persimmon in my shop, but I do not have this one, which has the Amberina. So this was a nice Viking Amberina piece. So yeah, I'd say about 95% of my haul is glass. And I got another one. So there is a matching set. I wonder if it was for the pair. Oh, Chappie's in the paper again. And I am reusing all this paper for shipping, so it's like a double bonus. Oh yeah, I got this cool Amberina hobnail bell. It does have the dinger, but they taped it so it wouldn't smash. But look at that handle. I thought that was fabulous. I should go through and see how much glowy stuff I have. And I don't think I have enough to do just a just glow glass sale. Then I picked up this, which was cute. Oh, that's the blue cornucopia. And we have three items left, guys. And then that is it for this box. So this was a really good box. This had a lot of the glass in it. So let's go through the last few items here. This might be the one dish that like glowed so beautifully. Oh yeah. This is like the perfect little vanity dish. And look at that glow. She is a beauty. Is that a little roughness I'm seeing on the edge there? That's just, is that a slice out of it? No, that's just how it was formed on the edge. And this one has like no damage, which was amazing. And this vendor had like 10% off this item, 15% off that item. So I was just kind of grabbing everything I could. Got another vase over here. Whoop. Oh yeah, I picked up this because I just thought that even though this is ceramic, I thought this was really pretty. And it's uh, Bavaria, Germany. I just loved the colors. Just something about the colors. I thought that was really beautiful. So that'll probably be in one of my vintage variety sales. I'm gonna start doing two types of sales on whatnot. I'm gonna be doing like a variety sale where it's like all different items, a glass sale, and then maybe one specialty sale a month. So I'm only gonna be doing about three sales a month on what on, not on Thursdays. And then every other Tuesday, I may do a jewelry sale. I'm kind of changing things up a bit. So this is our last item guys from this box. And it is this cute, that sounded like there's glass, this cute cruet. And this is a Fenton cruet or a little perfume, but it has the stopper. So that's it, guys. That is box number, I don't even know anymore, number four. And I believe box three from the gallery. So if you've been enjoying these videos, remember to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you don't know what I mean about the the different boxes, I will link it all below. I'm having five to six haul videos from my birthday trip to St. Pete. See you guys soon.